preacher, I'm talking to somebody. You, your mind, your information is so messed up that you can't change. You see where you're supposed to go. But because of the information you're getting, you hanging up there, but you want to be over here. Yes. I'm, I'm talking to somebody. I'm preaching to me too. The level of anointing that God has placed on you requires consecration. Yes. Shondo, Kotai. If you're going to walk in that which God called you to in 2020, you got to stop being right. You got to be humble. God, help me in here. I feel the Holy Ghost. Why everybody getting quiet? Am I preaching in here? See, everybody want to be powerful, but nobody wants the price of it. I'm talking to somebody. I'm talking to genuine lovers of ministry right now. Can I prophesy here? I'll finish the minute, this, 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 this message later. I can't, you came here on this night. At this time for me to tell you, you're not here by happenstance. The call of God in your life requires consecration. You cannot be a part of the thing that you want to bring people out of. God help me here. You cannot be a part of the thing. Am I preaching this right? You cannot be a part of the thing that you got to deliver people from. There you go, Holy Ghost. Wow. There you go, Holy Ghost. Wow. So now, Hallelujah. as I go, oh. Hallelujah, glory to your name, Jesus. I, I, I need those people. The problem is, I, I, I know y'all came here to get excited. But the problem is, our minds. And if you can hear me tonight, I want you to receive the love of God that I'm trying to give to you. You've got to change the source of your information. You cannot, oh, glory to God. You cannot be delivered to self-evaluation. I tell my wife this all the time. I uh, said, so you evaluate yourself and make a decision on based on what you say. But sometimes you need other people to say, that's not the right way to go. Amen. They used to tell me when I went to the treatment center, you know, I went to what, 27, what, 17 treatment centers. They used to tell me, man, every time you come in here, you come in crying. After you're here for a week, you're trying to tell us what to do. I said, y'all don't understand. That's who I am. That's who I was. But what I'm telling somebody is, you're listening. I feel you, Jesus. Somebody say Amen. Listen, I'm talking to seven people in this room. I'm talking to seven people who have great destiny and great purpose. And the problem is that you're listening to your own spirit. Wow. You have to change the information that you're getting. Good God, help me. You have to trust somebody to feed you something. Good God, help me. Shonda, I'm talking to seven people. I don't know who it is. You receive it for yourself. This is the love of God for you going into 2020. You are listening to the wrong spirit. When you start self-evaluating, you can only give yourself what you already have. Shut up a high. Show to a high. I can't be. You want to need it. I feel the Holy Ghost. If you're glad you came to church, if you're glad you came to church, say amen. What you need is you need to change, God help me, the source of the information. Because you're not going to get another result. Can I say this again, please? If you can hear me, please say amen. amen. I can dance and talk about Moses. Uh, yeah. Say yeah. Moses. Uh, Moses. Uh, yeah. No. What we need is information. Pastor, what we need is revelation. Shut God. You need to be around some gifted, anointed people whom God uses to reveal things. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, God, I love you, Jesus. What we need is to change the source of our information. God, no more host guy. God, help me. I'm done preaching. I'm done preaching. Son, no. God, help me. Ah, yeah. mm. Boy, I'm trying to get somebody out of this thing right now, Pastor. Do please pray for me. What you need is. You need to humble yourself. Amen. Amen. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, humble yourself up under the mighty hand of God. And do see and he'll raise you up. Your process is your process. And even after you humble yourself, you're still going to be processed. You're just going to be processed in another way. See, the thing about this, about this is when you change your thinking, you see the same thing 
but you'll do it differently. Can I stop preaching now? Baby, can I stop now? Because I don't want to get excited about nothing. We coming up on 2020. I want I want you to leave up here out of here with some food. Somebody said I need some food. I want you to leave out here with application, something you can apply. And the, the, the thing I know about us as people, particularly church folk, we are mm. let me let me let me get off of that. General love and guess. The word of the Lord for you for 2014. I mean 2020 is what you eat is going to determine your results. If you want to lose weight, stop eating what you eat. Amen. Preaching to myself. Oh, if you want to be spiritually strong, stop eating the words you're eating. I'm going to say that again. Be all in here. Yes, Lord Jesus. You're all anointed. You're all full of grace. But if you want to not dance into 2020, but walk into 2020 in victory, you have to make a decision today. Somebody say today. today. If you hear my voice today, harden up your heart. Everybody in here is victorious. Everybody in here is anointed. I heard him talking. The anointing for the whole covenant for special people now is for everybody. We all have the Holy Ghost. We have different levels of anointing, baby, but the only way, the only way we can walk in that rest and that peace is when we surrender our will. And what God is saying to us in this season that we have to change the source Good God, who's that? of the information we're getting. For some of y'all, that means you've got to change some relationships. You gotta readjust some relationships. Uh, can I testify? It's some people that was real close to me over the last couple of years, and I was telling my wife, man, I can't get to them. But mentor, every night, every night I pray, I'm asking God to remove any ungodly, unproductive, unnatural, oh y'all ain't saying that. Not only from me, from my daughter, from my wife from the ministry, I'm asking him. He knows what relationships I'm supposed to be in. And even sometimes it's hard on my flesh because I lost somebody I was really close to this year, the relationship just shut down. And, 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 I, and, and when I told my wife, I said, that's because I prayed for that. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, come on, come on. You don't have time to be concerned with nobody's feelings. Can I talk to y'all please? You don't have time to be concerned about what they can think and how they feel. Because right now, God is shifting something, release the word to you, Elizabeth, that now is a time of destiny. We have to change the source of the information. I hope this word come out clear. It is the information that's the problem. And you cannot live right with wrong believing. And what they tell the church is, you got to live right. But how do you live right with bad information? Hush. You can't prosper with bad believing. You have to change. Can I talk about this a minute? You got to change, even when it comes to giving to the kingdom. I know this ain't not going to go over good. But you got to change the way you think about it. God made his word clear about giving. Who sow sparingly shall reap sparingly. You got to get your mentality right. Who sow abundantly shall reap abundantly. You can't change that. You can get mad at the preacher all you want to. That cannot change. From God's hand and Genesis, as long as I shall remain, seed time and harvest shall not cease. I'm talking to somebody now. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever man sow it, that to they also reap. How are you going to be praying for harvest and there's going no seed? Repentance. Changing your thinking. Somebody says, I'm ready for my change. Changing the way I think. I want to be happy, I want to be prosperous, but it starts with the information that I'm getting. I'm saying this to somebody, it does matter what church you go to. It does matter what relationships you keep. It does matter, because when you go to church, that is your spiritual food. Yes, it is. And if you're not leaving out of church, 
wonder, oh boy, I gotta go look at this when I get home. I gotta change something when I get home. The thing I love about this ministry is that every part of this business church, and the victims will be with them, every part of this church, the, the thing is, man, Pastor, he was talking to me today. <laughs> 